Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to our event, The Perfect Gut Solution, Your Own Flora. Um, my name is Dion. I am the nutrition consultant here at Choices Markets in Abbotsford. So hope you are all safe and thank you for joining us. I'm about to introduce our speaker, but before I do, I'm just going to go over a couple of quick housekeeping items. Um, if you registered for this event tonight, uh, after the event shortly, you will receive an email. So please respond to that email. There's a quick survey for you to fill out. If you fill that out, your name will be entered in a draw to win a wonderful gift basket from Living Alchemy, as well as we will ask you for your mailing address. And that is so we can send you uh, this. So this is a nutrition buck or a nut buck, as we call them. And that's a $10 off coupon when you spend $50, $50 or more um, on anything in the store. And that includes sale items. So please fill out that survey. There's a lot to gain from doing that. So the nutrition buck will come to you by mail. And the winner um, will have to pick up their gift basket at, at their nearest choices markets location of choice. If you'd like to take part in tonight's event through the live chat and ask questions, uh, you will need to sign into your YouTube, YouTube account. Sorry. Uh, so if you don't have an account, you can quickly sign up for one now. And that's just so you can submit questions. And you can do that as we go along. And then our presenter will get to them at the end of the event. To find out about um, more of our nutrition services, please come and visit us at one of our Choices Markets location, um, or you can also reach out to us online at our website, choicesmarkets.com. So now let me introduce tonight's speaker, Irene Pauline. Uh, she is a trusted nutritional expert, lecturer, and holistic lifestyle advocate. Her journey started when she beat cancer, and now she supports others in how to reach their greatest potential in health and wellness. With a Bachelor of Commerce and as a certified nutritional practitioner, Irene actively practices her passion daily at Living Alchemy as the manager of marketing and education. So I am very excited. Uh, let's welcome her, and I'll hand it over to you, Irene. Hey, thank you so much, Dion. Much appreciated. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope you are all safe and doing as well as can be. Uh, this session is being recorded, so if you do have to be step away at any time, uh, you can always ac access it later. And uh, we're happy to offer you some of those special discounts and uh, the nut bucks that Dion mentioned too, So, um, and a giveaway from Living Alchemy. So I'm just going to do a few introductions here before we get to tonight's agenda. Let's make sure everything's working. Perfect. Okay, well, our this, this whole event is brought to you by Choices Market. So there's um, uh, local choices uh, throughout the whole layer, lower main, mainland, including Kelowna as well. I'm out here in the Okanagan, so Kelowna is my nearest shop. Um, and yes, there's also an online um, choices feature as well. So do check that out. And then also this session um, is also brought to you by Living Alchemy, which I will also introduce after I introduce myself. So my name's Irene Pauline, and I am a certified holistic nutritionist. Um, and I got into this journey um, practicing holistic medicine over 10 years ago, and that's when I was diagnosed with um, a blood cancer um, and went through conventional medicine as well as holistic medicine. And uh, that's really where I just indulged and self-taught myself a lot during that time when your life is on the line, uh, you do what you have to do. And so that's where I did a lot of my own self-research um, and tried all the different modalities out there, uh, found what worked for myself. And then after um, my treatment protocol with conventional medicine continued on with holistic medicine and uh, further got into be a certified nutritional practitioner. So to have that education to back up, um, to have the research and the science too. And uh, I work as a, um, 
I, a practitioner myself, so I work with clients online, but uh, primarily I work with Living Alchemy and I'm the manager of marketing and education with them. So I get to practice what I love doing every day. Um, I love connecting with all of you. Usually these uh, sessions would be done in person. Um, I hope to, you know, one day get back to them with all of you. Um, I've been, yeah, speaking at Choices for a few years now. So it's been really great. I always love shopping and uh, connecting with all the customers there. So next, let me get into introducing Living Alchemy. And so this is also um, our co-host and I work for Living Alchemy. I have uh, fully disclosed and I wouldn't work for any other company, uh, but this company, it is something that I take myself and I um, include in a lot of different protocols um, because there are a wide range of health solutions that are options for you. Um, and so Living Alchemy is a fermented organic whole food supplement line. I like to say they've really stepped up that whole food supplement line category to really make it a living whole food supplement. So I'll get into more of that, but it is really through their unique uh, fermentation process. And that is through uh, kefir kombucha living culture, which we'll be talking more about fermented foods as well in this session. Um, and Living Alchemy is actually based in uh, Vancouver, BC, actually, sorry, Richmond, BC, I should say, that's where head office and manufacturing is. So proudly, uh, a proud BC local company, and that's why, you know, we partner with Choices as well. And so the guiding principles with Living Alchemy is based on a very much rooted in tradition uh, and backed up by research and innovation using only the cleanest ingredients in all of their uh, capsules, which are all um, for supplementation purposes and in the supplement category at your choices market. This is the full ferment family. You might recognize some of these products on the shelves at Choices. And uh, we'll, we'll be diving deep into the Your Flora series to really target the digestive care. Um, and so, of course, supplements are secondary. We'll be talking um, more about our full agenda here. Um, but I do want to let you know that what I share with you today is for informational purposes. So, of course, um, it's not intended to substitute the advice of your healthcare professional, as they do know you best and they know your history. Um, and so it shouldn't be used to diagnose or treat any healthcare problems or for the prescription of any medications. So I do have to share that disclaimer with you. So tonight's topic, let's get into it, why you are here today. And it's to find answers. You know, if you're suffering from stomach discomfort, gas, bloating, you know, you, you think it's that it's, you think it's normal. It's been happening on a daily basis now. Well, that is not a normal component of how we should be feeling. Um, and so maybe it's also gone into unexplained fatigue, low energy, or even no energy. Uh, it's showing up in skin irritations. Um, you know, you're finding through your day-to-day -day work life that maybe you're experiencing brain fog or a lack of concentration or further going into your, your home life as well with moodiness or anxiety. And so this is really what we want to find those answers to. There's been a lot of, um, a lot of variety of a lot of stressors that many of us have been going through. So we need to find those solutions. So let's get into what the, today's goal is and tomorrow's goal too, which is to achieve optimal digestion. It's to restore a, a damaged gut lining. We need to reduce that inflammation and we need to balance the immune system so it can react when it needs to and fight off um, any pathogens that it may encounter. We need to reduce the stress and the anxiety on a day-to-day, -day, um, increasing our happy hormone um, and regaining our energy. And so that's what our presentation is all about. These are the solutions I want to help you discover. Um, and so our agenda is really focused on the perfect gut solution because it always starts with the gut. And we are going to work to build your and strengthen your own flora. So that is your gut flora. So I'll be using, using words like ecosystem or microbiome, which we'll get into. But the, uh, the agenda is really going to be focused on balanced nutrition. So looking at real whole foods and medicinal foods to help assist and strengthen your own flora. Then we're going to be looking into supplementation because it's, uh, it comes secondary. So that's what we're looking towards living alchemies, your flora symbiotics, and then a balanced lifestyle. So looking into body movement and mind relaxation tips. 
So let's get into with just an overview of what is the gut. When I speak of the gut, I am talking about the digestive tract. So this actually starts with our, our nose, our senses. You know, when we smell that warm apple pie baking or whatever it is, it starts to engage and trigger the digestive tract. It starts to start, it starts the car really, and it starts to warm it up. And then you, our salivary amylase in our mouth starts to um, exert itself. And then uh, it starts to kick in the stomach. And this is where from the small intestine to the large intestine, where the majority of our friendly, good, and also bad bacteria live as well. Um, and that is throughout, you can see that zoom in picture there, throughout the intestinal lining. Um, and that is where the mucosa is, where your bacteria live, those, those microbes. And so we have a, a microbiome that exists all throughout from the nasal passages, from the mouth to the stomach and all throughout the um, intestines as well. And so this is where we have to take care of this microbiome. This is the ecosystem as a whole that is so important. And so um, what's so interesting about the microbiome that I do wanna mention is it's so unique from person to person. It's like, you know, our, our fingerprint or our DNA, our genes, our blood type, you know, it, it is, it varies person to person. No one microbiome is the same. So uh, there's not a one solution fits all. And so this is where I'll be suggesting a variety of things that you have to, you know, trust your gut um, to be able to find out what will work for you. And also number one is always listening to the signs that your body is telling you um, and being able to, um, you know, tune in to find that solution that works for you. And Looking at further the, that connection between the gut and the brain axis, which you might've heard more about, um, and that microbiome system is that the, the gut is connected to the brain through the vagus nerve. That is um, one of the longest nerve endings um, from in our, in our body. Um, and this is what I like to think of as a highway. Um, and it has cars uh, going back and forth, delivering and sending messages. And that's where the gut, where, you know, our happy hormone serotonin is produced, is triggering to the brain to smile, to laugh, to have a good time. Or maybe it's triggering to cravings, like maybe it's eat that ice cream or whatever it may be, or it's, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. So these messages are delivering constantly. The microbes in the gut are really the ones that are, um, are uh, leading and they're the ones that are really delivering these messages for the brain to react and the nervous system to react. And so this is where we wanna make sure we take care of that gut to reduce the brain fog, to reduce the unhappy thoughts. Um, and so this is where we're, what we're gonna work towards. Further looking at the different types of stressors, um, which we will get into what are the root causes of the stress. What's important with this slide, it is not meant to uh, make you stressed out. What I want to identify is here is when these stressors come up, it's in fact affecting us in all different ways. And that's why some people are finding that they are becoming, um, they have skin irritations or allergies or new aches and pains. Um, and that's the immune system overreacting. It's, there's an imbalance with the immune system that's happening. Or if it's nervous, uh, nervous system um, that is uh, being, um, being harmed. So that can result in a lack of sleep, um, anxiety, depression, uh, a difference in, in moods throughout the day. So this is where these are the signs that our body are showing us and everybody has different signs. So this is where I'm asking you to tune in to figure out what is what is the priority and what is your the body trying to tell you. Furthermore, uh, our endocrine system can be triggered as well. So this is our adrenals, this is our uh, thyroid, this is our you know metabolism, um, our stress hormones being produced. So this is where further disruption can be caused. So what are the root causes? What are causing these imbalances in our body. So traditionally they were, you know, they were just microbes, viruses, and animals. We could deal with that back, back then. But now we are, well, the modern day stressors, it's still microbes, viruses, and animals, unfortunately, uh, more so some than the other. But there's a longer list of stressors and that can be, you know, our, um, our family history, 
uh, that can be the toxins we encounter that we, uh, maybe it's environmental toxins um, that we cannot control or um, EMFs, electric magnetic frequencies that we cannot control, or maybe it's some of the things that, um, that we could possibly control, which are, you know, alcohol, smoking, drugs, medications. So these are, these impact the body. Um, we all have this rain barrel, which is um, our, our, what are, how much stress we can take and how many toxins and um, irritations we can take and our rain barrel can fill up and it can overflow. And that's where we get those symptoms that appear. So looking at what's causing your stress in your life, is it um, irregular sleep patterns? Is it maybe shift work? Is it too much exercise, not enough exercise? Is it your, is it your nutrition? Is it your diet? Um, looking at what can, what, what that could be for you. And so these stressors cause inflammation and long-term inflammation. So if that inflammation might look like for you, it might be brain fog. When the brain is inflamed, it's congested. It is not reacting, making decisions properly. It's not focusing or concentrating properly. And so that is, that is a symptom of inflammation. If it's pains and aches or skin irritations, that's a symptom of inflammation rising. When this inflammation is long, ongoing, when the symptom is long going, it becomes a chronic condition. And chronic conditions can turn into chronic illnesses. And this is what we want to prevent. We want to prevent the disease. So these stressors um, are, there's always going to be stress. And there's good stress, ooze stress, which is well stress. Um, and then there is also bad stress. And it's normal to have stress. You know, we need our cortisol, which is that stress hormone, to rise in the morning um, so that we can wake up. And so Throughout our day, our stress hormones fluctuate. But what is important is that it remains in the healthy range. And our healthy range is different for everybody. Some can withstand more stress and some can't. Um, and so this is where what's important is, if you can see my arrow, you, you don't want your stress levels to get into the disease state. They may come into the disease state because our world is, it's a, you know, it's a wild world these days. And so it happens that we get into the red zone, but what's important is that we have the tools to access to get back into that healthy zone, that we don't stay in that inflamed disease state for a long period of time, because this is where further symptoms can appear. And, you know, um, we want, we want to prevent that. And so that's where we want to stay in that healthy range. And this is what our body is always trying to achieve, always trying to achieve that balance. And that is homeostasis. And that's what our body's doing and working around the clock 24 seven. So let's help it out a little bit and instill some new uh, routines and rituals so that we don't get into this disease cycle. But it's important to know about it. So I'm, I'm going to keep uh, speaking to it so that you can tune in with what's going on with yourself or say a loved one or um, whomever. So modern day burdens on our body. So like that I've talked about all those different stressors. Um, so they push the body out of balance. And this is the digestive tract is always what's first um, being in encountered. And so this is where you might see it first arise in the digestive system and symptoms like tiredness, gas, bloating, heartburn, brain fog, anxiousness, uncomfortableness, um, constipation might appear. Those are the first symptoms. And then to some of us, you know, we tend to be like, oh, that's normal. I get gassy, um, you know, in the evenings after dinner or, oh, you know, I don't make regular, regular bowel movements, which, which should be a minimum of one a day, um, you know, every other day for some people, which that is something that, you know, we eat two to three meals a day. So making one bowel movement is very important. And so then this goes into a whole new you because all these symptoms are appearing. And this is where communication in the body breaks down. This is where it starts impacting your um, endocrine system, your immune system, your nervous system, and then the symptoms get worse. And so this is where it can go more into chronic um, issues and where sensitivities can come up and further dysbiosis in the body. And then um, things like the tissue uh, degenerates, uh, chronic inflammation, you're not absorbing your vitamins and minerals and um, further allergies or further issues can come up. And so it's said that death begins in the colon because it's first encountered there. So these symptoms can be known as a silent disease, which is more of the chronic conditions that 
illnesses um, such as celiac, Crohn's, colitis, those are the severe states and which many of you might be dealing with that already. So we wanna look for solutions. Um, it, those uh, diseases can be, are, are stated as commonly known as incurable diseases, but we can help to assist in those times. So let's uh, look into, so it's important to know these conditions and what they're doing on the body because you need to understand that connection uh, to be able to repair it. Um, and to know of the severity of what's happening that, you know, all those different stress triggers, what they're doing to the body is so important. And I think knowing this might, you know, help a little bit more to, so that those changes that you make, they, they stick and that, you know, you keep on that um, new diet or that you keep taking that supplement because you know, it's doing good. Um, so these stress and triggers that come into the body um, enter through. So what I'm talking about here is IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, um, progression of leaky gut. So when these triggers that we talked about, those stressors enter into the GI tract, which is the gastrointestinal tract, they create inflammation. They break the villi and the microvilli, which I like to say the fingers of the intestinal lining, the mucosa. So they break that down and then they uh, weaken the intestinal lining. So that is here where they enter into the bloodstream. So these pathogens, these stress triggers enter into the bloodstream and then it becomes systemic inflammation. And then this is where those, um, so on the, my left is the normal tight junctions, how our gut should, our intestinal lining should be. Those junctions should be tight so that nothing gets through the intestinal lining. But with more and more stressors and triggers, those junctions loosen. And when those junctions loosen, it enters into the bloodstream. So it's important to keep the intestinal lining strong. That ecosystem needs to be uh, strengthened. Because once it gets into the bloodstream, that's when you're seeing these symptoms appear that we've been talking about. So looking at inflamed versus healthy. So a healthy gut, um, when these uh, pathogen stressors enter into the digestive tract, um, they trigger uh, payers packed, which I like to call the first responders team. And the, that's the immune system um, that's triggering um, and it helps to repair the intestinal lining and it helps to fight off the pathogen. So it does not enter into the bloodstream. And so then you don't get that systemic inflammation happening. And so that's the job of the immune system um, working with the digestive tract. Also throughout the digestive lining, um, the orange here, this is where um, 70 to 80% of your immune system lies. So that's the importance of that communication. So this is why it's so important, especially nowadays, to be taking care of our gut health, to improve our immune response. This is why. And then when we're looking at inflamed, well, you're getting the inflammation in the GI tract and then in the bloodstream as well, because you're getting these gaps that appear, if you see my arrow. arrow. Um, and so this is the uh, triggers, the stress triggers, breaking down the intestinal lining and entering into the bloodstream. And you don't see the uh, payers patch, the first responders team, they're not as responsive um, and they're not attacking because there's, there's too much to deal with in the body. It's, it's a lot and the immune system's being impaired. So, when this becomes chronic, we it can lead to inflammatory bowel diseases. So this is IBD. So this is where inflammation of the intestinal lining um, rises, dysbiosis of the gut, deterioration of the gut lining, and immune dysfunction. So this is um, Crohn's versus colitis, which has uh, differences uh, within them as well, but uh, looking at the normal as the baseline here. And, um, you know, that's a whole nother discussion to get in the, to the differences. I just wanted to do a brief overview so you can really see and, you know, understand the overview of what's happening here. Uh, inflammatory bowel disease um, is the second most common chronic inflammatory disease after rheumatoid arthritis. So it's rising. Um, and unfortunately, now there's no treatment um, has, and has 
consistently been shown to be successful in treating IBD. And so this is worrisome. Um, and so this is where we wanna look to provide some um, support. Um, and let's get into the solutions now that I've talked about, you know, what's generally happening as, happening as an overview in our body when we're not taking care of our gut and looking at the stressors that are affecting um, that as well. So let's get into the tips, the solutions. This is what you're here for, right? So let's look at a balanced nutrition and lifestyle. So number one, it's going to be real food. And I mean, real food, whole foods. I'm not talking about processed or packaged foods. I'm talking about when you shop the grocery store, you shop the perimeter of the grocery shop, the vegetables, the fruits, the, um, if you consume dairy or meat that you're utilizing using the whole, um, of the, the plant or the animal, that it's not the processed meat, the deli meat, that you choose something that is, you know, um, the breast or the thigh or, you know, the tenderloin or whatever that may be, um, as opposed to the processed belly meats. Um, and you're choosing the good quality as well, as much as possible. And so there's all different sorts of options here when it, you know, if it's sweeteners that you want instead of the uh, conventional sweeteners, you're looking at honey or maple syrup or dates or fruits um, as something sweet when you're craving it. If it's something salty, you're looking at, you know, not the processed uh, potatoes that are the chips um, in the bags that have all the saturated fats in them, but you're looking at nuts or you're looking at a whole potato, um, you know, baking it or however you like to eat it. Um, and so looking at this is so essential and keeping the, the differences of our food sources. So the different colors um, and changing up your food is also important to diversify your microbiome because we need to feed all the different good guys in there to make sure that they're, they're getting the right prebiotics to be able to do their jobs. So we need to eat back, we need to go more back to our roots with eating when it comes to nutrition. We need to eat more like our ancestors do, eating real whole foods. That's more veg, more fruits, more whole grains, more meats. So when if you're shopping the perimeter of the store, you'd be going into the um, middle lanes for ingredients that only have one to you know, I say three, if it's max five ingredients, you know, I try, try to limit it, the number of ingredients on that uh, nutrition panel. You know, it's things like you're choosing uh, chickpeas, you know, bagged, dried chickpeas, chickpeas, that's the only ingredient in that, as opposed to a can of chickpeas, which have salts added, other preservatives added into it. If you, you know, I understand trying to save money. And so choose the frozen, if you have to, frozen um, you know, broccoli or frozen beans, if that's an option where you shop, um, over the canned is what I like to suggest. Of course, it's all, I'm always going to recommend fresh, but I understand things aren't in season and we need to save when we can. So also the middle aisles of the grocery store, you're shopping for like your oils, your olive oil, your coconut oil, um, and you're looking for unprocessed and unrefined foods. This is what is key, less packaged foods, less unreal foods. Um, I like to say homemade and nature made is best made. Um, I understand that, you know, we might be sick of cooking, um, but there are a lot of uh, recipes and options out there um, that, are, uh, that are available to incorporate more of, but to keep it really simple with just whole foods. Um, and this means you're gonna have less sugar less chemicals, less additives, less fillers, less, less bad fats. Really, this means less stressors on your digestive tract. This is gonna help take a load off the system, give it a break, give it the proper nutrients, give it the high fiber and the antioxidant that it needs, excuse me, to repair its system. And so this is something that is so important. It's so simple, I know, you, you know, but this is, this is what is key with it. I also want to encourage you to include more medicinal food. So what does that look like? That includes herbs. So I'm talking about organic dried herbs or fresh herbs as well. Um, and so perhaps you're growing them at home. Um, if you, uh, you know, you can always freeze them as well. I do that. I grow a lot of dill in my garden this summer, and then I chopped it up and just froze it. And so it's really great to add dishes and it's still somewhat, you know, frozen fresh. 
Um, and uh, also drying them is an option, incorporating them more into dishes. So this is gonna help you add more flavor without adding more say sauces. Maybe you're a sauce person, add herbs, replace, add more herbs and it'll give you more flavor so that you don't add on the extra sugars that come in those condiments and the sauces. Also mushrooms, include more mushrooms. Um, there are properties within uh, mushrooms that help to balance your immune system. And so this is really essential, um, as well as fermented foods. That's the big one that I want to get into next. So fermented foods, uh, this is important. So we're looking at, you know, everything from kimchi here to red sauerkraut, to white sauerkraut, to miso, to yogurt, to brine pickles. So we, these are fermented food examples that I want to encourage you to incorporate into your shopping cart. So these are your one to three ingredient foods. Uh, they are, you know, they do come in a package, a jar, um, mostly, or a, a jar container. Um, but they shouldn't have a lot of um, additives in there. And so these are important foods and we'll get into why. Um, and uh, fermented foods. So they're really, they're superfoods that have been turned into superfoods, uh, into super, superfoods, I should say. And they have been used um, through different native cultures all throughout the world, really. Um, and they were used in not just for preservation, um, you know, because their growing seasons are less and they didn't have refrigerators and they preserved their foods by fermentation but also because they use fermented foods in ceremony and in medicine. It is something that um, has a lot of life to it and it gives life. So this is why I like to incorporate it into your diet because it helps to feed the life in your intestines, which is the microbes, the microbes that need to thrive and it helps to feed that to further enhance it. Um, some examples, you know, in Asia, which we'll get into fermented soy dishes like miso, tempeh, nato, very different than tofu, which we're going to talk about. Um, even ma maca, maybe you're familiar with using the maca powder, uh, chichi de maca. It's not something that you can just dig out of the ground in Peru and bite into like an apple. Traditionally, it was used in fermentation. It was fermented to, be, to access all the important nutrients. Um, including the baobab, which is uh, um, known in Central Africa and is a beautiful hanging fruit from a very, very strong tree uh, that um, helps to promote fertility and libido and reproductive and hormone balancing. And this is also traditionally fermented in their culture. And then we have in Eastern Europe, we have milk, yogurt, kefir. So kefir traditionally come from dairy grains um, that produce this uh, kind of like this cottage cheese-like substance. Um, and this is where it's very rich in probiotics. So choose kefir um, over say, you know, your milk, which doesn't have the probiotics in it. Yogurt has some probiotics, some brands do. It has a lot more sugar. I don't really like recommending it. I say choose kefir if you like that sour taste. If you don't and you like yogurt, that's fine. Try to choose the plain unnatural and add your own flavorings. So those flavorings in those yogurts are artificial um, or they're concentrated um, and they add a lot of sugar. So going back to that real food plan is you want to top that yogurt, plain unsweetened yogurt with berries, with nuts, with sugar, with say honey, if you want it sweetened, uh, that's the best way to do it. You know, maple syrup, even that's a good option. And then Southern Europe, we've got grapes to grape juice to wine. Well, we know wine, um, when grapes are fermented, they create a potent antioxidant reversitrol that comes in uh, red wine. And so, you know, that's why you hear it recommended one glass of red wine a, a evening um, uh, provides antioxidants and, you know, longer life for some of the claims that are said. And this is because of the power of fermentation that activates new nutrients. So I hope I gave you some examples that you can uh, give a try to some new foods when you're shopping at Choices. And why do you want to try these foods? Well, you are getting complete bioavailability. Bio when it's the difference of cabbage, we know cabbage has great benefits, a nice nutritional profile, but when it's fermented into sauerkraut, well, that nutritional profile is further enhanced. 
Key therapeutic nutrients are activated. The bioavailability is greater, which means that you can absorb the nutrients. And it means that um, there's unique compounds that are created. There's enzymes that are created. Those microbes are feeding your microbes. Um, and this is where that communication from, um, from that living culture, from the fermented living culture to your cells react right away. That an action is created and the, the cell can react. So the communication is enhanced from this fermented foods to um, our cells. So our cells love this kind of stuff. And this is what we need to provide more of it. I like to say two ounces with every meal. I know a lot of us can't do that. And so this is where we look towards um, Living Alchemy to provide fermented whole food supplements that allow us to incorporate uh, fermented foods into our diet um, that is more convenient and therapeutic at the same time. So the symbiotic approach, and this is symbiosis at its finest, and this is fermented food is symbiotic. So this is that intimate relationship of different organisms living and evolving in harmony within an, within an ecosystem for the benefit of each other. So, you know, this is the microbes in sauerkraut with the cabbage that are being enhanced and they're creating a healthy ecosystem that they're, we're, we're consuming to further enhance our ecosystem. So yeah, fermented foods, is exactly what a lot of us are missing in our daily diet, including this key nutrient that I'm gonna talk about um, that has a very unique profile and affects the body in very unique ways. Um, and so this is fermented soy. So ferment, why fermented soy? Why am I recommending this? Well, it has a unique balance of amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks to create protein, uh, to, uh, building blocks to the proteins um, that are necessary for repairing the intestinal lining as well as they include polyphenols. Polyphenols are potent anti antioxidants that are activated when fermented, and they help to repair the intestinal lining and provide healing. They help to reduce that inflammation and promote a healthy ecosystem, a healthy microbiome in the gut. Uh, fermented soy, such as nato, miso, uh, tempeh, very uh, used in traditional Asian cultures and very accessible. You know, it's available at all your choices stores. And it's something that was used um, by a lot um, in, in the past and it further enhances our uh, gut ecosystem. So it uh, does this by repairing the intestinal lining. It, from, it also is a naturally occurring L-glutamine, which is an important amino acid to boost your immune cell health that lives in your gut lining. So that's a naturally occurring L-glutamine that comes from fermented soy. It has the bioavailable uh, polyphenols, that's the antioxidants. It has all the healthy microbes because it's fermented soy, it's got those microbes within it. It also has less immuno reactivity than soy itself because when fermented, the um, anti-nutrients are broken down. So there's less disruptors in the body. So this is the difference of, if you think of tofu, uh, if you look at that, it's a conventional process, it's white, uh, looks like a white brick. And when you look at tempeh, well, tempeh, you can still see the whole bean intact. Each bean to bean is connected through this like gelatin-like substance, which is actually that microbes. And that's um, that gel-like substance is what it does to your intestines. It helps to connect those um, villi and microvilli to strengthen the intestinal lining, which is so essential. So this is why looking at a fermented soy is so essential into incorporating into our diet. You do want to make sure you're using non-GMO and organic soya bean, of course. That's all that Living Alchemy uses. Um, and I want to show you a few slides with research. Just want to stay on track with timing here. Um, so research, fermented soy and longevity. I love this study because it's a long, uh, large cohort study, and it's conducted over a long period of time, 15 years uh, in Japan, um, 92,000 plus participants, men, female, 45 years old to 74 years were studied. And in this study, a high, concluded that a higher intake of fermented soy was associated with longer risk of mortality. So helping you live longer. And then furthermore, uh, research has shown that fermented soy helps, fermented soybean fights against degenerative diseases. 
it further helps with um, reducing to our toxic load. It is antioxidant, anti-tumor, anti-diabetic, antimicrobial property. So this is the importance of it. Our immunoreactivity is reduced by 96 to 99%. Um, and it's also a great alternative um, for hypoallergenic soy products. And this is a pictograph of fermented soy versus unfermented soy. You can see um, each peak is a nutrient level and you can see um, in some levels, the when fermented, the nutrients is broken down. So it's no longer exists in the fermented. So that's where the anti-nutrients is broken down. And the new uh, peaks, which is new um, nutritional profiles are created in the fermented that were not in the unfermented soybean. So this is where it's really essential to um, have the extra nutrients that's provided in the fermented. So let's look at supplements to, um, to incorporate, because if you've been suffering from a digestive issue or any of the symptoms I've been talking about for years, well, you don't want it to take, you know, if you've been suffering from leaky gut for five years, you don't want it to take another five years to heal. So yes, it's always, you know, about nutrition to start, but you need supplements to help speed up that process, speed up that healing process. And so this is where I look towards Living Alchemy's Your Flora Symbiotics. They're the complete digestive solution they are a symbiotic, which means they include the probiotic, the prebiotic, the enzymes, and the nutrients all in one capsule. They use the kefir that I described, remember that cottage cheese-like substance? Well, they use water-based kefir grains and kombucha scoby. So kombucha, there's a lot of kombucha drinks out there. Um, and it's this mother kombucha scoby that is fermenting with the kefir grains that is fermenting soy. Um, and it's non-GMO organic soy sourced from Europe. So it's of the cleaning, so cleaning sourcing. And this really allows for the diverse strains of therapeutic microbes. Um, and this is what is in the capsule. Puffy soy is the medicinal ingredient in all of the Your Flora symbiotics. All of these supplements um, that are targeted for digestive care. There's no excipients, no binders, no isolates, no, 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 nothing fake. It's all real whole food that's in this capsule. And even the capsule is 100% clean, organic, made out of organic tapioca starch. And in the capsule, you're getting the probiotics, you're getting the bioavailable vitamins and minerals. So that means you can absorb the vitamins and minerals, getting the enzymes, those polyphenols, which are those antioxidants, short chain fatty acids, which are postbiotics um, that are really important um, to create the actions and the healing. And so this is all within the capsule. There is an 80% survival rate of microbes within the living alchemy your flora symbiotics as well. And uh, this, I wanna show you a few slides of some research here using this peppy soy. This is the fermented soy within 30 days. This is an in vivo study. So I do just wanna note this and it's a high dose of the peppy soy. It's actually the highest dose is 800 milligrams, which is in our Your Flora professional product. This is for severe conditions, which I'll show you what that product looks like. But what you can see is the um, regeneration happening of those villi and microvilli, those fingers, I like to say, that live in the intestinal lining to help with absorption. And so you're seeing that regrowth happen, which is really important. So those vitamins and minerals and all your food that's being broken down, the vitamins and minerals are being absorbed and then they're being utilized. And then you're also seeing the intestinal regeneration here. Um, and this is where you can see the intestinal lining become thicker. This means the immune cells are stronger um, and this is where it's not allowing for any gaps in the intestinal lining so that it doesn't enter into inflammation into the bloodstream that we talked about. And then this is a, um, um, this is a, a shot of a person's uh, colon. Uh, and this is someone who suffered from ulcerative colitis in the colon. So this would be very painful. And this was a 45 year old male. And then this shows using the high dose peppy soy um, for six months, uh, it showed a whole nother, like, you know, clean as a whistle, so to say. And this is that repair that has happened using, utilizing peppy soy. And so this is why, um, 
it's so life changing. And this is really something that is magnificent. Um, and so that's why I have to share it with you. And so this is the professional product. This is the high dose. This is 800, um, 400 milligrams in one capsule. So you want to take two capsules to achieve, um, you know, that's what this person achieved um, after six months of taking two capsules. And they continue on that protocol for a year because this is severe condition. They were um, going to go into surgery um, if things did not resolve within the year. And they continued on the uh, two capsules, I believe, uh, for a year, and then you can reduce thereafter so long as symptoms also um, are getting better. And so yes, 400 milligrams in one capsule, and you're getting that diversity of all those different strains in here. And um, this is suggested for people suffering from long-term painful digestive issues. Maybe you've tried everything. Maybe you've gone to the probiotic section at the, uh, you know, um, choices, and you've tried all this all the products for this, all the probiotics. Um, this is one I encourage you to try. Um, it's one of the newest additions to living alchemy, but it is a therapeutic one. So it's a higher dose while all the other, your floor products have always been longstanding. Um, our customers were asking for one, um, that was a higher dose. So you didn't have to take as many pills. And what I like about it, it doesn't have any of the herbs in here. Herbs can cause contraindications to medications. So if you would take um, a variety of medications, then I suggest just use, utilizing this one for digestive care. If you're inquisitive about more research, check out this page, you know, take a picture with your, with your uh, smartphone if you can, and check out the more information on the Kepi Soy advantages on Living Alchemy's webpage. So, very much believe your health starts with your flora, your own flora, enhancing that is what we need to do. So let's look at the difference of supplements that can help um, every, everyone. There's one that's different. Um, there's one that's for everybody based on their different digestive constitution or their you know different gut goals, whatever they may be. So we'll look at, there's a, a full line and we'll look at which one is well suited for you to enhance your dynamic ecosystem and to feed the array of microbes that are within you because you are unique and so is your flora. And it's, the microbe is nothing, the terrain is everything. And we very much believe this. Um, it's not just about, it's not about CFU counts when it comes to that health and more and more research is identifying that and that it's about the whole, the whole gut the whole ecosystem, enhancing that to be able to feed the array of microbes and enhance the good bacteria so that they can, um, you know, over, they can uh, fight off the bad. So it's about nourishing your terrain, you know, watering it, giving it sunlight, uh, giving it the proper uh, soil to be able to implant, colonize, and flourish and thrive. Because nothing grows if not, right? Like if, it, if it's dry, if it's if you're not, if you don't have that healthy environment, it doesn't matter how many probiotics you take, it, it's going to go right through you. It's going to cause disruption. It's not going to work. It's not going to absorb. And so this is why it's really important to feed the body um, whole natural sources and not um, synthetics. This is um, a great little clip it of how many after 24 hours. So this is one bacterium that within 24 hours, when given the right environment, can replicate into 4.7 sextillion bacteria. This is why you have to create a healthy environment in the gut so that your microbes that you were born with that have adapted over the years can flourish as they're supposed to naturally. You know, probiotics, um, we're, we're something that were, you know, created and marketed and sold and implanted into our, our health regimes to, um, you know, colonize that one strain and create that one strain to advance. With what Living Alchemy is doing with the Your Flora Symbiotics, it promotes a healthy environment so that your own microbes can do what they're supposed to do naturally, what they used to do, you know, back or as our ancestors microbes did. So how much room? The healthy small intestines with optimal villi and microvilli, those are the fingers I've been talking about, have the surface equivalent of a tennis court 
Without that service equivalent, um, can shrink to a, as small as a tabletop. So, you know, do you want the terrain that, um, of, a, of a tank, of a pond, or of an ocean? Well, you want the terrain, the ecosystem of an ocean, so that all the microbes, all the species can survive and thrive in there. So this gives us your flora symbiotics. And this is the concept around the creation of your flora symbiotics. It's not about the CFUs, which is the colonizing factor units that you see on probiotic advertising. Um, that's key to a healthy gut. It's the environment that's key. It's about nourishing. It's about restoring, building, and supporting. This is what the your flora symbiotics are able to do. So let's see which one is right for you. If you're, so, okay, I'll explain what each capsule contains. So the Kefi Soy, all of the your flora products, except for the professional that I'd already talked about to you, include 133.3 milligrams of the fermented kefir kombucha organic non-GMO soybean. So this is an all of the product. This is the therapeutic agent that is helping to rebuild the intestinal lining, keeping those junctions tight. It's increasing the flora and the immunity and repairing the ecosystem. That's feeding your own microbes. That's really the food that's doing the work. And so um, the herbs, every Your Flora product has different herbs. These herbs are catered to your needs, to your symptoms. This is what's going to help relieve your symptoms, okay? So family, Your Flora family is for general support. It includes blueberry and banana, and there's nothing else in here. That's it. There's no magnesium steroid. There's no fillers. There's no rice bran. Nothing else is in here. And the dosing is one to three capsules daily at any time. So you find that number that works for you. Um, for me, it's three capsules and I take them throughout the day. Um, I suggest one in the morning, one at night, start with just two. And uh, that's a great protocol. If you need, you revise it as you feel suited. If you're having a tough day and you're feeling heavy and bloated and you're not focusing, you can take another one as you need it as well. So that's the dosing for all the your floor products. And this family is for general support. This is can be for the, you know, everyone in the family from the young people to the seniors. Uh, this is one, one is great for pregnancy and safe for breastfeeding too. So this is really great. Uh, professionals also safe for pregnancy and breastfeeding as well. No herbs in that one. And this one's got the blueberry banana. My little niece loves this one. She calls it her belly candy. She asked for her belly candy. Um, and what she does is, um, well, I open the capsule for her and then I just sprinkle it on her palm and she just licks it up and it tastes like bananas and blueberries. It's great. Um, I've got a recipe on the website, Living Alchemy's website, and it is um, a coconut yogurt with this symbiotic. And this is scrubs in the yogurt and it allows it to taste like blueberry and banana. So it's really great. Um, yeah. And so general support, this is, you know, you just want to keep your immune system optimized. You want to keep your gut optimized. This is why you're going to choose family. So really you're on here and you don't have any digestive main digestive concerns. You just want to keep things healthy and strong. Choose family. <clears throat> Comfort. If you're suffering from bloating and gas, cramp, stomach cramping, a lot of discomfort. Uh, I know a friend calls it a food uh, or like what's popular is a food baby. Um, you feel re really heavy after you eat. Look and uh, look at your floor comfort. Uh, take it before your meal. If you know, you know, you're having pizza with cheese and it causes disruptions, take it before you eat. If you find you're, you know, went out for food and you're finding discomfort, you can take it after as well to help alleviate symptoms. It's fast acting. Uh, I also love this one at bedtime. It's uh, got cam chamomile flower, which is very relaxing to the nervous system and then fennel seed, which is very soothing to the digestive tract. So that's, what's helping with the bloating and gas. And of course you've got the medicinal ingredient, which is doing all the healing. This comes is a popular one, your flare comfort. It comes in two sizes, uh, 60 capsules and 120 capsules as well. Regenesis, same sizing, uh, because it is also a popular one. This is Regenesis, it's for people that are um, have a sluggish digestion, slow transit. What does that mean? That means constipation. You're not making bowel movements regularly. Look at your floor Regenesis. 
If you are on a variety of medications or have been on antibiotics, I should say, of course you want to check with your practitioner. Um, but really what I'm trying to say, if the liver has been taxed, you want to take Regenesis because it helps to support the liver as well, because it's got artichoke leaf and chicory root in here and nothing else is in here. And that is very, um, re that helps the liver recover. And then also, uh, if you've been on antibiotics or you're taking antibiotics, you use Regenesis. I suggest at the same time as an antibiotic, um, and also thereafter, which is the most important part. Um, if, uh, you're, you know, price sensitive, then just use it after that's the most important part after the antibiotic. Um, but if you can use it during as well. Sensitive. Sensitive has peppermint in it and lemon balm. This is the one that helps cools the digestive tract. So if you're very fiery, you have a, if it's heartburn or ulcers, anything like this, uh, sensitive is a great one for that. Also, anyone having any food sensitivities, this helps is very calming anyone with IBS. So this is where your gut is very much triggered to your brain health. So if you become anxious, you lose your bowels, diarrhea, you suffer from, um, but it's connected with the brain and gut access. Use sensitive. If you get that anxiousness, um, any impairment with the nervous system, sensitive is really going to help with that. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what I want to mention that. And then there's soothe, which is turmeric root and ginger is in here. Plus the your flora, uh, heavy soy symbiotic is in here, obviously, just like all of them. Uh, I've had someone, you know, come up to me before and ask, I need, I need turmeric and I need a probiotic. Well, this is your all in one pretty much. This is a great one for seniors. Uh, seniors have a lot of inflammation. They also have a low enzymatic production in the, um, stomach. So this is something I suggest before the meal, because it helps to kickstart that engine, uh, that car engine, it helps to warm it up. So I like Soothe uh, before the meal. Personally, myself, I take Soothe in the winter. Uh, I just operate seasonally with my, uh, my diet as much as possible. I take Soothe in the winter. I, op I run a little bit colder. And then I take that sensitive in the summer because it's very cooling. And also I should mention that uh, Soothe is great for nausea as well because it has that ginger root in there. Your Flora Woman. So this one is created for uh, women that want the digestive care, but they also want the vaginal flora enhanced and the urinary tract enhanced as well. So this is going to help prevent acute and reoccurring urinary tract infections. You can use it as treatment or you can use it as prevention. You just would double up on the dose um, when you're experiencing any symptoms. If any symptoms come up, start taking it right away. Um, I, if you're if you are, um, if you get frequent uh, UTIs, I would just be sticking to this one to two a day. Um, and if you start uh, feeling symptoms, increase it to three or more a day. And also if you suffer from vaginal flora imbalances, so your there's a flora within the vagina cavity as well, which is important to take care of. Um, and so your flora woman helps with this. This product is not a suppository. They're all, you know, oral based consumption, um, but it does help with improving the vaginal flora. So if you suffer from vaginosis, um, candida and any other infections, uh, I would also be encouraging you to take uh, your flora woman. It has the dried cranberry juice in here, and it also has roselle. Roselle is a wonderful um, hibiscus flower that has high potency vitamin C in it and lots of anti oxidants that are going to help heal the membrane of the vagina and the urinary tract. And when in doubt, your florid terrain is the one to go with. So this is a good one to start with. Uh, it's got aloe vera, slippery elm, and marshmallow root. This is um, the award-winning one. We have two sizes available. If you are suffering from diarrhea, if you're suffering from leaky gut, acidity, ulcers, uh, irregular stomach acid, if it's high or if it's low, terrain helps to balance that. If you've got that impaired digestive lining, so you've been suffering from all these ty different types of brain fog, skin conditions, eczema, whatever it may be, 
it's related to your gut lining. So look to repair it with your floric terrain um, and these soothing herbs that will help to promote um, healing. Uh, I've got actually, this is uh, all of our, your floor products are for adult use. Um, and it's at the guardian's discretion to give to their children. Um, and so this is um, a parent just, uh, gave your flora terrain to their five-year-old boy, just one capsule for two weeks only. And his eczema totally went away there. So that's it standing. I always suggest to do a skin test first. So that means open the capsule, a little bit of powder, a little bit of water on the forearm when it comes to um, children, just to make sure there's no reaction that occurs immediately. And then you start with half a capsule. So you can put the caps, the powder in applesauce or in the juice or smoothie or yogurt or anything like that. The, your floor family tastes the best. Remember that the blueberries, bananas, um, and start with half a capsule is what I suggest for the first few weeks. And you can increase as needed also based on their weight and age. And then this is uh, some product feedback. So this is some um, testimonials from our customers that use Living Alchemy products. This is Emma, actually. She's in her, um, she's in her mid thirties. So she's young and she was suffering from ulcerative colitis for years. She started using your floor terrain and your floor sensitive to a day. So you can mix and match them. It's always a question we get. And within a few months from February of 2019 to August, 2019, complete remission from ulcerative colitis. So this is outstanding. I have to read what she writes because it's beautiful. She writes, I'm thrilled to bits because for the first time in 10 years, I've been given the all clear. My ulcerative colitis is in remission. There were no signs of disease anywhere. I nearly had my bowels removed. For now, no need. The medical team were amazed. The options I've been given were surgery or yet another drug therapy. I was wary of pumping yet more drugs into my body as they all seemed to make me worse in the long run. I've been taking sensitive with peppermint and lemon balm and terrain with aloe vera, spriam, and marshmallow root is in there. And they've been an absolute game changer. I've been chronically ill for 10 years and was due for uh, surgery. Your probiotics have given me my life back. Just amazing results there. Within a few months, so young, so uh, worked right away. So that's awesome. Uh, this is Rob. This is someone that I worked with and I also have to read his story because it's um, a good one. So he writes, been using Living Alchemy for four months and can sleep through the night. Used to be up in the night for five to six times. Had bloody stools, horrible cramping. Basically couldn't even go to work because I was running to the bathroom with bloody stools. Face was gray and sunken in and uh, down to 117 pounds. And I'm now 142 pounds. Eye color looks great. I have a full night's sleep and can eat like a regular person, just avoiding health, unhealthy foods because I want to be a healthy person for many years to come. So he's on the real food diet and he's on the Your Floor Symbiotics and it's going great. He suffered from ulcerative colitis for six years and he used Your Floor Terrain and for four months and look at that before and after. So for some people, they see results right away. So some people, it's a little bit longer. It's different for everybody. So, you know, the most important thing is consistency. Look at that before and after. He looks younger in the after. He looks fuller in the face, fuller in the body. That color looks a lot better. Just the eyes um, look amazing. The skin health. Yeah. So yeah, he was happy for me to share this. And this is just, yeah, very, very pleasing to see this. This is why we, why we, um, yeah, these products are created. This is why I have to share this information with you. And then furthermore, this is uh, Jean-Francois. He's a 45-year-old kinesiologist and he found living alchemy because he was suffering uh, with, um, in five years, for five years with ulcerative colitis, sorry, for 10 years now. Um, and he was in misery. He took a immunosuppressive drug called Humira. And for him, that's a very expensive drug too. Uh, so I, the medications can be very pricey for some people. Um, and he took comfort and regenesis. So he mixed and matched and he found that he managed to eliminate C. difficile. He improved his condition greatly. He says my physical condition has improved a lot. I feel refreshed, more vitality and energy. My thoughts are clearer and I feel happier. So for him, um, seeing these results were definitely life-changing for him. 
um, the difference of weight and skin and clear thoughts and energy and vitality. Feel that again. It's just amazing. Um, and he stuck to a protocol that worked well for him. So that's great. So in summary with the Your Floor Symbiotics, I want to summarize what is, makes them different than your conventional probiotics. And it's that they are plant-based, whole food-based, uh, they're real food in a convenient, you know, capsule-based supplement. But they're not laboratory-based microbes, which is what a lot of probiotics are. They're synthetically made grown species in a PG dish that are incubated for 24 to 48 hours to achieve a number account account of strains, see if you count, um, so that it is then uh, ingested and the hope is it, that it colonates and it suits, you know, those few strains, if it's five strains in there, whatever it may be, that it suits your number of strains. However, we have billions and billions of strains and we're born with different strains and then they adapt over time, of course. Um, but this is something that we need to nourish and to feed. And so this is what the symbiotics do. They are an ecosystem and they improve your ecosystem. It's not just bacteria, um, which probiotics are, um, tend to be, and they tend to dictate your flora, the conventional probiotics versus your flora symbiotics encourage your own flora. And that's what it's about. They're rich in enzymes, pe peptides, digestive nutrients, which may not be included in some conventional probiotics. And um, we have high colonizing factors in the your flora symbiotics as well. And so this is, uh, yeah, the main differences that I wanted to outline to you. Why, if you maybe have tried probiotics in the past, um, maybe they haven't worked, maybe they, you know, go right through you, I've heard before for some people. And that's because those strains don't sit with you. And that's normal and that's okay. And that happens. You need something that nourishes the strength that you have. And so that's where I encourage you to try your floor symbiotics. Um, and uh, maybe you are on a probiotic that you find works for you. And when you go off of it, I always encourage people to take breaks from their supplements. When you go off of it, you notice that you're not feeling as good. And that's because you have to, it's made to keep taking that probiotic so that you keep having to feed that strain. I keep taking that probiotic. That's, we don't want you to have to rely on some a, a pill for the rest of your life. So it's about healing, nourishing, there's a maintenance protocol, and then, you know, not having to be on it uh, for life, um, utilizing it when you need it. So that's what I like to encourage. And so there is one for every different gut goal that you might have. I hope that this has been helpful with finding which your floor symbiotic is beneficial for you. And there is a quiz on livingalchemy.ca's website. So you can take that quiz. You just go under product needs and the quiz is there and take the quiz to just you tap in what your symptoms are and it will populate which product is best for you. Extra tips with the supplements, just need to keep on time. Yes, okay. Um, so the dosing is one to three capsules uh, daily. I take more or less as needed, whatever you feel suited. You have to take it with food. Yes and no, uh, it really depends on your system. If you're very sensitive, take it with food. But you don't need to, it is all food-based. They're shelf stable. That means no refrigeration required. That means that you can have it at your desk if that's where you remember to take it. Or I keep it on uh, my nightstand or uh, sometimes in my washroom too, um, my bedroom washroom, because I like to take it in the morning and at night. Um, and you know, you can use it traveling as well, take it, no refrigeration required. So that's really great. And yes, no fillers, additives. This is essential when you're, if I'm telling you to eat real whole food, well, I'm not going to tell you to use supplements, but also have fillers and additives in them. So this is what we got to, we have to keep it clean. Um, and this is what Living Alchemy believes in. And this, you know, follows suit for the right protocol that I, I suggest. Furthermore, if you're looking into something to enhance your immunity, to help the fight response right now, to help uh, balance it and strengthen it, look at defense. Uh, this is amazing. So we ferment with the kefir kombucha, living culture, we're fermenting whole leaf oregano. 
thyme, garlic, ginger, clove. Remember I told you to incorporate more medicinal herbs and or more herbs into your diet. This is a great way to do it as well. These are all anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antifungal, uh, antibacterial herbs. So these are going to fight off anything you encounter. So that's why I really like this. I also have shiitake mushroom in here, which I've been telling you to include more mushrooms because they help with boosting your immune system. So this is great. And then there's organic alfalfa, fennel, nettle, parsley. These, that's that green nutritive base. So I really like that that's in there as well. And this is one to three capsules daily at any time. So I would just um, take one to two capsules a day. That's all you need of defense. And that's just for general immune support, especially during cold and flu season right now, one to two. Say during the holidays, you're visiting some family and you're, you know, some signs of a runny nose are coming up or achiness or anything like that. Maybe a colleague's getting ill. And so you need to strengthen up your immune system. Well, it bumped it up one or two. And then if you get in the midst of a cold or flu or something like that, an infection, um, even candida, a, a, sm uh, a small intestine bacterial overgrowth, this helps fight against you. Then you want to use our extra strength version um, during those times. Uh, so this is your daily defense. And then there comes in an extra strength as well, or you can just double dose on this if you need to, um, to really fight off anything that comes, um, comes up. So that's just an extra immune boosting one that I want to, uh, incorporate. So we've got, uh, the session ends in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'm going to talk to you about holistic living and balanced lifestyle. So the last piece of this very important puzzle here. So it's about balanced lifestyle. It's about body movement and mind relaxation. So the importance of balance and finding what your balance looks like. So our system is so overstimulated um, and our nervous system is overstimulated with the, the screens and the lights and the um, um, EMFs and all of the sorts. Plus, we're doing so much and we're taking on so much. Our basket is overloaded and we're also stimulated by a lot of noise out there, a lot of fear that is being instilled um, and it's causing a lot of stress. Maybe we've, you know, tuned out to the news or, you know, um, any negative um, kind of sources around us um, and let go of those energies, especially because it's been a, you know, a long two years now. Um, and so that's really great, you know, getting rid of that negativity in your life, but also it can still impact you energetically. And so this is why mind relaxation is so important. So making sure that you're taking at least 30 minutes of peace and quiet to yourself. This means going for a walk maybe, um, but you know, maybe it's not having that podcast running or that audio book running. Maybe it's just listening to the birds and tuning into, you know, the leaves and where the season changes, that peace and quiet. You know, maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's just, you know, laying in sav uh, savasana and on the, on the ground and just being and feeling your body, you know, taking a bath and connecting with your body is what's so important. Taking the time, you know, even 15 minutes, will cut it. Anything helps and is a good starting point. And then 30 minutes of minimum of movement of day. So whatever that movement is that you enjoy and trying to incorporate more movement into your day. Maybe it's not using the shopping cart at the grocery store. Maybe it's carrying the grocery bags. Maybe it's taking the stairs, not the elevator. And, um, you know, instead of what, instead of putting the, your dog in your backyard, it, uh, you know, walking your dog instead. So wherever you can incorporate it a little bit more, and that all really helps. Um, as well as what's important is, excuse me, I'm starting to lose my voice. Just going to take a sip here. So also very important. I say approximately eight glasses of water a day, it depends on your weight um, and your uh, activity level. With activity level, you, you don't wanna overdo it. When I say the movement is so important, you don't want to overwork yourself. 
physically because mentally you probably are too and you might be an overachiever a type and uh, the drive is strong that's awesome but you do need to make sure you take as much time to relax to repair to re to recover because inflammation can also rise if you're working out for two plus hours a day or 90 minutes or more a day so just be mindful of really connecting with the body and allowing it to relax when it needs to. Uh, water and sleep. Sleep is also so important. Looking at about eight hours, you know, between six to nine hours a day. Um, and yes, this is doing what you need to do to set the right environment to improve your sleep as well. And so that's that keeping that balanced lifestyle. So it's the importance of that balance and that's the body, mind, spirit, balance that creates that healthy lifestyle and little, little tweaks and little changes on a day-to-day -day basis help you get to where you need to be to incorporate that perfect solution for yourself. It's different for all of us. I hope I've given you some tips and tricks to help um, instill some new rituals for yourself. I hope this uh, session was beneficial. Um, if you would like to be in contact, I would love to be in contact with you. There's my information as well as Living Alchemy's information. You can always reach me with Living Alchemy as well and on social media, anything like that, we're available to you. This is the full Living Alchemy series. So we talked about the Your Flora Symbiotics, that's for digestive care. We also talked about Defense for daily immune support. And then I talked about extra strength for fighting off any um, infections or anything like that. Well, there's so much more with Living Alchemy from stress um, solutions like the Alive series, some adaptogens to help us cope with stress like ashwagandha or holy basil is my favorite one. But there's, yes, lots more. They're all available at Choices Markets, all the locations, wherever you may be. You can visit the Choices and find your Living Alchemy supplements um, in the uh, whole body supplement section. And right now there is a sale going on and it's up to $11 off. And I believe the $11 off is for the Your Flora Symbiotics. And that's for this week only. And then the other products are about 6 to $8 off. Um, in store for the month. But if you want to get on the uh, digestive care protocols, uh, go to your nearest choices this week to get the $11 off. That's a really good discount. Um, I know even our, like, yeah, our specials would never be that much. So yeah, check that out. And I want to say thank you to uh, Choices and Dion. Thank you so much for hosting me. Thank you to all the listeners that tuned in and signed up, all the Choices shoppers. Uh, we're yeah, so heart happy to be partnering local with you, and it means the world to us. Um, so yes, thank you for having me today. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. Um, so yes, everyone keep in mind that there is the sale going on. Uh, the one sale runs till the 17th and the other till the 30th, but you will also be able to use your nutrition buck if you get it in time. Um, if you don't, however, still make sure that you fill out the survey link because you will be entered to win um, the gift basket. And so that is going to include some Living Alchemy product. Um, we did have a question come in, so oh. I'm just going to uh, read that here. It's kind of a couple-parted question. So okay. it says, how much fermented food do you recommend? A half cup daily, a cup daily? And how would those amounts change if you have been on an antibiotic for repair of the gut? Okay. I'm not sure if they meant antibiotic or, oh, no, okay. sorry, I'm reading too much into it. So I'll repeat that. How would those amounts change if you have been on an antibiotic for repair of the gut? Yes. Okay. Great question. So for fermented foods, we should be incorporating two ounces with every meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two ounces of fermented foods. So cabbage, kombucha, sauerkraut, uh, sorry, I said cabbage, <laughs> it's sour, I meant sauerkraut, uh, kimchi, which is another type of Napa cabbage that's Korean, um, like a Korean version of sauerkraut. But yes, two ounces is the answer for the fermented foods. That is hard for a lot of us. So that's why we're suggesting uh, utilizing the Your Flora Symbiotics. 
Um, so this is what's going to also re help to replenish and restore the gut lining after antibiotic use. So I would be suggesting Regenesis, your flora Regenesis, that symbiotic, if you've been on, if you are on an antibiotic, or if you have been on an antibiotic in the past. Um, and for how long you would be taking it for, kind of depends, you know, one round, they say one round of antibiotics can wipe out your microbes for up to a year. So I always say when it comes to a protocol and you're trying to really repair something, at least, at least three months um, is what you should be doing, um, you know, minimum six weeks. Everybody's a little bit different with when they can see results, um, but um, so between six weeks to three months and see how that goes for you. Sometimes you can uh, reduce the uh, number of capsules you can take a day thereafter, or you um, might have to continue on for maybe eight, uh, you know, maybe four or five months or something like that. Great, thank you. So another question has come in. Can fermented soy contribute to estrogen dominance? Fermented soy, um, the answer is no, because the anti-nutrients are burned down through the fermentation. It is the conventional processed soy that um, would only increase estrogen dominance. So that is where you want to look at tempeh, eating tempeh, miso, or nato, not tofu. Thank you. And another question, which product do you recommend for redness on the face or for acne? Okay. So if you're talking about rosacea, if it's redness on the face, um, well, first I'll answer eczema because that one very much connected to leaky gut. So for, did you say acne or eczema? Sorry. Um, uh, for acne. Okay. Uh, well, either way, the, the answer is your flora terrain for any skin irritations, uh, if it's acne or if it is eczema, uh, there's a lot of uh, um, mu uh, lubricating herbs um, that really help with balancing out the oil levels and repairing the digestive tract too. So there's that, that double duo there. And then for redness on the face, which could be rosacea, you want to look at more like capillary health as well. So it, it doesn't hurt to um, use your flora terrain to help with, uh, with healing the gut, which helps with our skin quality. Um, but there may be a further protocol that you'd have to look into with rosacea. Um, but starting with your flora terrain would be the starting point. Great, thank you. No problem. Um, so no more questions have come in. Uh, do you have anything else that you wanted to add before I close up? Oh, I think I covered everything. I uh, you covered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, utilized like almost the whole time. There was a lot of information, a lot of different techniques. I hope, um, yeah, they can be utilized for a lot of people to see some, some changes because I know there's a lot of struggles going on right now. Thank you so much, Irene. Um, so I might may have misspoke a little bit. I don't think that you would get your nutrition buck in time for the sale. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but wait for the email after the event and we will ask you for your mailing address. And that is to send you a nutrition buck. It usually actually takes probably almost a month to get to you because we're going to have to get the entries in and then send it out by mail. Um, but you will be able to use that on any us sale item in the store but don't forget um please also send that in uh that entry in because you'll be entered in a draw to win a gift basket which is from living alchemy so that's really exciting as well if you would like to find out about future events you can visit our website at choicesmarkets.com as well as any information about our uh, nutrition services as well or visit us in the store and again I just want to thank you Irene because we are getting a lot of thank yous coming in through awesome. the chat now okay. as well so that is wonderful thank you everyone